Look, the Matildas World Cup semi-final against mm -hmm. England has gone down in history as the most watched television event in Australia with more than 11 million viewers tuning in worldwide. Incredible. And leading the charge for our green and gold, our very own golden girl, Sam Kerr. I caught up with her to hear how she's been since the World Cup. Kerr running at bright. Kerr with a shot. Oh! For me, the moment of the World Cup was your wonder goal against England. Just wow. I mean, it was, it was a crazy moment. I still, when I watch it back, I'm like, wow, I can't believe that happened. Um, just the whole World Cup was such a roller coaster. And then, yeah, when it went in, the crowd just erupted. I've never, ever heard sound like that. Yeah, it was the best feeling probably I've ever had in my career. The Tilly semi-final against England was the most watched event in television history. How do you think the Tillies were able to woo so many fans? I don't know, I just think, you know, the spirit that the girls showed, that never never say die attitude is something that we all resonate really well with. But when I think of great Aussie athletes like Leighton Hewitt, Ian Dorp, Kathy Freeman, all of those people that inspired us when we were young kids, they were just athletes that just never gave up, just kept playing to the final point, And I think that's what we did. You've been nominated for a Best FIFA Football Award alongside some of your teammates. What would it mean to win an award like that? It's an amazing honour to be nominated. I think Kate deserves to be nominated too. It would be amazing for an Australian to win that award just because of the recognition the country would get. All the hype, all the pressure, does it ever get to you? I think I enjoy it. I think I love, you know, this is what we dreamed about when we first started playing for the Matildas, is that there would be so much talk around the team, so, so much talk around what we're doing. And of course there is downsides of it, but for the most part, the talk around the Matildas is, is really positive. So we're really lucky. And I think I just try and be myself. Well, you'll be back in Perth in no time for the qualifiers for the 2024 Paris Olympics. That's pretty exciting. Yep, it all starts again. Um, yeah, qualifiers for 2024 and then obviously it's always nice to play home and play in front of our home fans, so we're looking forward to it. We know Cathy Freeman played a pretty significant role for the Matildas during the World Cup campaign. How does she serve as an inspiration for you and what could be? Like, I think Cathy will always be an inspiration to most of us girls in the team just because of what she kind of did and who she was for female athletes back in the day. And I don't ever see myself on Cathy's level, but I mean, if I could be half of what she was to our generation, that would be, you know, amazing for me. Is this thing on? <laughs> Check out what I'm donating. And you've just recently partnered with the Red Cross and Uber for a pretty cool initiative helping Australians. Yeah, um, it's obviously an amazing initiative by Uber and Red Cross. There's so many people in Australia in need and um, mm. I think during the World Cup we saw Australia come together. So I think this is another great initiative where Australia can really come together and help those people in need. I think with fashion forever changing, it's a really good time for everyone to go through their closets and, and show what they can give to help other people. And, um, you know, someone else's junk is someone else's treasure, my mum always used to say to me. Well, I, I used to love doing a bit of thrift shopping. I still do. Some of the, my favourite items in my wardrobe came from secondhand stores. Is there anything that you've picked up out there at a thrift store that's still with you today? I got these cargo pants that I swear back in the day must have been, like, out there, out there, and I still love them today. Um, but I, they just fit me like a glove straight away. I was like, these are mine. Well, we are so looking forward to having you back down under and kissing that dreary London weather goodbye. Yeah, me too. Very much looking forward to the sunshine. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?